Good morning. I feel like I owe you guys a health update about my Cinzia because it's been a while since I've done it here on my YouTube channel. I have a highlight on my Instagram, so if you want to like be more in the know, you can definitely catch it there over at the Paleo Dietitian. But my joints feel amazing. I'm going into the office for another injection today, and I need to catch you up on why I'm going into the office, and I'm not doing it at home anymore, but I'm not having any wrist pain, no hand pain, no joint pain. I'm getting out of bed every day. I'm having zero symptoms. Now, since being on Simsia, I've had some weird symptoms. I feel like when I fly, air in the airplane is super dry, and so I get like these sores on the inside of my nose, and that has been new since starting Simsia. I actually also had a wart issue pop up. I didn't think much of it. It was just like one little spot. It didn't look like a wart and I just kept picking at it for months and months and months. And then I was going to the dermatologist for something else just to get like a skin check, um, like mole check, just an annual visit. And she was like doing the check and she gets down to my leg and she was like, oh, you have a, some warts. And I was like, what? And she was like, well, that's what we're gonna work on today. So she froze them off and there were like 16 of them. I've never had warts before, um, and I'm thinking it's just because my immune system is a little bit suppressed being on Simsia, but I feel like with my joints feeling so good, the benefits outweigh the risk. I also had strep and COVID back in, let's see, it's August now, maybe back in like March, but just from a rheumatoid arthritis standpoint, back in November is when we decided to get on Simsia because my disease progression was so bad. Um, my SED rate was 44 and my CRP was 12. So inflammation markers were like really high and I knew that they would be. I was having trouble even like picking up my baby. I was having trouble getting out of bed. It was pretty severe. So we started Simsia at home in December. I have a video showing my first time doing the injection. I watched it back the other day with Brent and oh, it's like you can hear the dryer going in the background. Brent was like, why didn't you why didn't you think about any of that i'm like i don't know because i was giving myself a shot for the first time february i had a wrist injection uh steroid injection because my wrist was so swollen even on the sims yet it wasn't getting better and that helped tremendously we had labs redone said rate was down to 23 crp was down to five so much better april all my joints were normal. I was in complete remission in April and I have been that way ever since. So it's been really wonderful. At the end of April is when I started having insurance issues though. So they put me on the Simsia Copay Assistance Program. I had no trouble getting signed up. It's like the red carpet was rolled out and I was so impressed because medical insurance is not always like that until it wasn't, until I owed like $1,700 for my next injection. And I was like, wait, what? So the copay assistance program is a set amount per year. I had no idea how much the drug costs. It's like $5,000 a month. And so when they say like, oh, you have $19,000 on this copay assistance program, I was like, oh my gosh, that's great. I'm covered for the whole year. I was not covered for the whole year. I was covered from December, January, February, March, ran out in April. So I was not prepared for that or expecting it. And we hadn't met my deductible yet. And so I asked on my Instagram, like, what do people do? How do people afford $1,700 a month? And that was with a little bit of copay left. And so when the copay assistance program completely ran out, I was gonna be paying $2,000 a month until my deductible was met, which is fine. Like, I just didn't wanna spend my hard earned money on $2,000 on that. I could think of lots of other things I'd rather spend $2,000 on, right? So I actually heard from someone on Instagram that said I could talk about with my rheumatologist about going in office for an injection because it's billed differently than at home. It's billed through medical if you go into the office and it's billed through pharmacy if you go at home. They weren't really hip on the idea of me coming in because most people that come in need infusions or can't do the injections themselves, etc. But they ran it through insurance and it was covered. And so, so far I have done May, June, and July in office injections with no issue. I think I pay like $20 for an office visit um, and it's been great. So I have another visit today. So I have another visit today and I'm gonna take you along with me. So let's go.
vials checked. And now they have to mix up the medication. It takes about 20 minutes for the medication to reconstitute. So I just sit and work, edit a few videos. in the office and now it is national thrift day so i'm gonna go to the thrift store